Hello and welcome to today's special episode of Clash TV. We have got ourselves a one-on-one -on -one interview with the Yeti. The Yeti is the latest troop to be introduced by Clash of Clans when Town Hall 13 came out just over a month ago and we've got the exclusive interview with the Yeti. Let's cross over to Rock Bottom who's got the interview. Rock, it's all yours. Thank you Clash of AJ and yes we've got the interview of Dave the Yeti. He is on the line right now. Hello Dave, thank you so much for spending your time to join us for this interview. Again, thank you so much. I hope you're having a great day. First question to you Dave is how are you finding Town Hall 13 and why has it taken seven years for the Yetis to turn up in Clash of Clans? Thank you Rock Bottom. It is a pleasure to be on the phone with you today and yes it has been an amazing start to our journey here in clash of clans over the past month uh, a lot of people are really enjoying using us so we're doing our owners very well and we have actually been applying to be a troop in this game for many years now and we're very fortunate to make the cut this time and we're not going to let this opportunity go to waste Awesome, you guys definitely have made a massive impact since being introduced into the game over a month ago. Now my question is to the guys out there who think you guys are too strong, what do you have to say to them? Yes, well, I can answer that question pretty easy as I've explained before. We have been waiting seven years to make our appearance in Clash of Clans so we've been all busy at the gym, training every day, hitting them weights, you know, cardio, keep ourselves nice and strong, mentally prepared as well. So once we got this opportunity, we weren't going to let it get out of ways. We couldn't wait to get in there and absolutely smash bases. And so far, we're doing a good job and we're very happy with how things are going. That is definitely right. Crushing base of what have you guys have done over the past month. Now you have had a, a bit of a nerf recently with your Yeti mites no longer uh, activating traps or anything like that. So, so you guys are really overpowering these base. What do you have to say to that? And what impact do you think this is going to have for you, the Yetis and your Yeti mites going into the future? Uh, yes, we were expecting something like that to happen eventually as our Yeti Mites were definitely able to take the advantage by taking out all the traps. So when we went into the base, we'll be able to crush all those defenses and get those triples. Now, they did do a change, which is was expected. So we have worked and prepared for this. We are still very confident that ourselves and our little Yeti Mite buddies will be there still crushing bases in the future perfect response i like that i really think that you guys are definitely a great troop into this game and will definitely be a very strong uh, army to be used with you guys in the future and speaking about the future next weekend is the town of 13 cup how are you guys preparing for that and how do you think you will succeed over that weekend Yes, we are definitely looking forward to next weekend of the Town of 13 Cup. It is really our first major opportunity to show the world what we can do as a troop. You know, we've definitely built some really good relationships with other troops and we're very confident that when uh, players do use us, we're going to make them proud and hopefully get as many triples as possible and may the best team win. But we are definitely looking forward to this. It's going to be a fun time. Yes, definitely. Everyone is very excited for the Town of 13 Cup next week and definitely can't wait to see what you guys do in your first real competition. Now, you did mention that you have built up some relationships, and especially with a one troop in the Pekka. What do you have to say about that? And is it true about a bit of a romance? <laughs> yeah, well, um, I will not confirm or deny the relationship between me and the Pekka, I can can confirm that we have had some spending some good time together, build up some really good work relationships. What we do outside of Clash is our business and I'm going to leave it at that. Very interesting. The Pekka had the exact same response, so we'll leave it at that. 
But if you do want to break any breaking news, uh, don't forget to hit me up, give me a call, and we'll make sure it is all looked after for you guys. But again, uh, next question coming in from a viewer. And that question is, uh, which Siege machine do you guys enjoy using more than the other one? Uh, we have had the introduction to the Siege Barracks at the same time at Town Hall 13 with the Yetis. Do you guys like using the Siege Barracks to get those triples or is it maybe the Stone Slammer, maybe even the Wall Wrecker? Which is your favourite Siege Machine and why? Um, that definitely depends on the type of base we like to hit, but we do enjoy the Siege Barracks as we get those extra troops and which is the Wizards and a Pekka. Again, yes, the Pekka. But they are a great introduction for a new Siege Barrack and definitely... If utilized right, they're definitely going to get those triples a lot more. I think the Stone Slammer second, um, we haven't really seen the blimp, but um, not even really much the War Wrecker as players like to use those Earthquake spells or even jumps to get into the core of the base. So maybe even a late Stone Slammer, but definitely our favorite at the moment is the Siege Barracks. Perfect. Now, let's go a little bit side of Clash of Clans. I hear that yourself, Dave, you are a singer and you're currently working on a song. Care to share about that? <laughs> yes, that is uh, that is true. I am a... Well, I would love to be a professional singer. I am currently working on, on a song and hopefully get it all recorded and done soon over the next few weeks. Very interesting. I definitely would like to hear it. And I'm definitely the people watching this interview right now, would you care to, you know, give us a little demo if you don't mind? Um, for you, Rock, definitely. Uh, uh, give, me a, give me a sec. Let me uh, warm my vocals up and I'll give you a little sample and for everyone watching at home. Amazing. We are ready when you are. <laughs> okay. Um, this is something that I've just been working on uh me sick <clears throat> okay let's go <clears throat> my earthquake spells brings all the yetis to the base and their light is better than yours better than yours why can teach you Wow, that was pretty amazing there, Dave. Um, I definitely can see you in the future in singing and then all the best for that song. And I'm definitely can see a bit as a tart topper right there. Um, we've just got a breaking uh, email in, Dave. Um, I hope you don't mind me asking this question, but this person really wants to know this answer. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, hopefully the rest of the song kind of flows nicely like that. But um, yeah, definitely. What is this question? I'd, um, I'm happy to answer anything. Okay, this email comes from John and he would like to know why you haven't told anyone about all the uh, putting down Arva Yeti so you can take the spotlight and make sure that everything shines on you. Uh, he also goes on to say that he knows you and your past. Any comments to uh, share on this? Um, I don't know who this John guy is and I do not know what he is talking about. I haven't done anything like that. Um, this guy's definitely got um, me confused with someone else. Uh, this email also goes on to mention something about what you did last year with uh, Tom the Yeti. Um, Anything to share on about this? Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, I do not know what happened with Tom the Yeti and I wish to not talk about this anymore because if so, I might have to contact my lawyers, but I have no idea what's going on and I would like to wrap this up as soon as possible. I uh, know that is fine, Dave. We can um, stop right there and we'll get on to the next question. And that is, 
Um, Dave, are you still there? Hello. I think we might have um, dis disconnected here. I'm not sure. Can, um, can we get in contact with Dave? Anyone? Can anyone help me out here? Yes, yes, I am uh, still here. Sorry about that. Um, bit of a disturbance with the power out here. And um, yes, I will like to say something about the matter and that it is all completely false. And there is... Hmm, seems like we've uh, completely lost connection with Dave there. I hope everything is okay. Uh, and again, for everyone that's watching, thank you so much for this interview. Um, this has definitely been a great insight into the Yetis and especially Dave himself. Um, we'll be back next week with a, another exclusive interview. Who it is, you will find out in a few days' time. I hope everyone has enjoyed this interview and we'll see you again. Take care, guys. Have fun. What does this say? Press play. Greetings and welcome. I trust that you are wondering where you are. I can assure you that while your location is not important, what these walls offer for you is important. Salvation, if you earn it. 30 seconds from now, the door to this maze will open. Unfortunately, you only have three minutes to get to the other side. I've been watching you, Dave. Your 30 seconds begins now.